If I'm in a cemetery, one thing's for certain. I've got a heck of a story to tell you. And this time, I actually crossed paths with this person many years ago. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Cincinnati, Ohio to Spring Grove Cemetery. And you know, this vlog's gonna be a little different than usual because when I film a vlog, I try to have all my ducks in a row. I try to have all my facts. I double check them. And even if someone disagrees with me, I can at least cite my sources. This time, however, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to be taking a look at the grave of Marie Reynolds, also known as Marie Caldonia Reynolds. And she made a claim, and it cannot be substantiated. And the only person who really knows the truth is Marie herself, and she's not talking. So, oh, and another thing. I also crossed paths with this woman many years ago. And it's an interesting story, so... Let's go take a look. Our adventure starts here. Marie Jackson Reynolds, also known as Marie Caldonia Reynolds, was born to James and Mary Jackson on February 14, 1921 in Fayette County in Lexington, Kentucky. For decades, she danced and dressed outrageously at shows around Cincinnati and for a time was a dancer in Cincinnati's Cotton Club. Okay, now this is where things get a little fuzzy, things that cannot be substantiated. She claimed for decades that she was the inspiration for the blues tune Caldonia by Louis Jordan. And in the refrain, it says, Caldonia, Caldonia, what makes your big head so hard? However, as you can tell, there are no musical notes on her footstone and it, her name doesn't even say Marie Caldonia Reynolds. But what we do know she was known as Caldonia around Cincinnati, and she was a dancer. According to sources of people who lived in Cincinnati, they said that they were pretty sure that she lived hand to mouth with the money she collected from tap dancing in bars and on Fountain Square. Okay, so let me tell you about how I crossed paths with Caldonia. Back in the summer of 1983, I had a band, and Two of the members were underage, so we couldn't play in bars. But I found out that the Playboy Club, which I think was down on 7th Street, they had a talent show one night a week. I believe it was Tuesday, and they called it Tuesday Night Live, I think. And so I made a call. They said, yeah, you can come down and you can audition and you can play, but you can't drink. That was fine. So the band and I went down and we auditioned for Bunny Laura, I remember. and. Every night that she performed this talent show, she'd always sing the same song, For Your Eyes Only, which was a big song. It was a James Bond song. It was the big thing at the time. And I remember when we auditioned, I had to set the equipment up on this glass dance floor. It had lights under, so I guess disco hadn't died yet. And I remember one of the members made a big deal uh, when he went to the bathroom because they had a phone booth in the bathroom and they also had a cigarette machine. But anyway, I digress. So we passed the audition and we performed and won. And we went back for the uh, semifinals. And three of the Cincinnati Bengals were judges. And the very last performer was this little old lady, really skinny, who started tap dancing. And she had a cool look about her. But I thought, well, she's tap dancing. You know, I, I was kind of concerned that maybe the audience who were, well, lubricated, shall we say, were uh, not going to be so kind, but they really loved her. In fact, she got a standing ovation, and suffice it to say, she won the competition. And I remember we were standing around scratching our heads thinking, why did this little lady tap dancing beat us out? But then we found out, you know, it's Caldonia. And so I had this brush with history, and I didn't even realize it. So. I'm really glad I have that story to tell now. Sadly, less than a year later, May 10th, 1984 to be exact, Caldonia passed away. And it's really weird what you remember about people. I remember when she was competing against my band, she was wearing a speckled dress, a black pillbox hat, and she was wearing cat glasses. And she looked like something out of the late 1950s, early 1960s. And she was excellent at tap dancing. 
Well, that's all I have about Caledonia the person, but let me tell you a little bit about Caledonia the song. Caledonia was originally titled Caledonia Boogie and became one of Louis Jordan and his Timpani Five's most enduring hits. And it also spawned several covers. Astor Pictures created a short film called Caledonia starring Jordan and it clocks in at under 20 minutes in length, but it helped solidify his crossover appeal. And in 1946, Billboard magazine reported that the film was one of the few all-black productions to get bookings in white theaters. And in July 2008, the Caledonia film poster was featured on a United States Postal Service stamp recognizing U.S. black cinema. Little Richard, who did a cover of Caledonia, said that it was the first non-gospel song he ever learned. And he also said that he adopted his pencil-thin mustache from Louis Jordan. Among the people who recorded the song included a young piano prodigy named Frank Sugar Chili Robinson, who gave the song a workout in the 1946 film No Leave, No Love, and had his own chart hit with it three years later. Other people who covered the song included Benny Goodman, Memphis Slim, B.B. King, and Muddy Waters. And, surprisingly, people like Roy Clark, Van Morrison, Carl Perkins, and Willie Nelson covered the song. Well, that's the story of Caledonia the Person and a little history of Caledonia the Song. And I want to thank you all for tagging along and letting me share with you how my path crossed with hers. And in the comments down below, tell me what do you think? Do you think Marie Reynolds was the Caledonia? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Share this video with your friends. And in the description box down below, I will have links to my PayPal, my Teespring, and my Patreon if you'd like to help me take my adventures further. So until next time, everyone, this is Cashew, signing off.